<clears throat> it is absolutely positively not a gorgeous day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. My name is Reagan, referred to as the Doom Wizard here in this space, and I'd like to run through some climate news because every day is exciting in the climate casino. But before I go on, perhaps you can leave this with something practical. I found this minimalist cricket knife a few months ago. And just like I said, cricket minimalist, that's what you want to look for. Uh, very convenient, perhaps not the most um, self-protective knife you could brandish, but certainly does the job. Think of it like a talon you can grip onto and cut envelopes open or do things around the house. I just think it's very useful and I had to share that with you. Something to keep in mind and it's legal in most states. So let's jump into today's news roundup if you could call it that. There's a currently a smoke health alert though. Uh, because of the wildfires, I haven't been outside in the past 48 hours much just to run a few errands and little work-related tasks. But yes, the air quality is over 200, and this week was, as you know, reported some of the worst air quality in the world in Detroit, Chicago, Cleveland, and other places. Many have never experienced this in recent memory, and it is awful. It burns my eyes. I get tired much more quickly, and you don't see much activity out there and about. Pretty miserable, but this is our future. This is what we signed up for, in addition to a heat alert still ongoing in the South, so something like 100 million people in combination either experiencing extreme heat or wildfire smoke, which is maybe not a pleasant time. I'm so glad I left Texas, though. Let's jump across the world from BBC News. Deforestation surges despite pledges. Area of the tropical forest the size of Switzerland was lost last year as tree losses surged. Despite pledges at COP26, some 11 football pitches of forest were lost every minute in 2020, 2022, with Brazil dominating the destruction. Words and blah blah. I tell people often that the reason we're experiencing extreme weather is directly as a result of the broken jet stream, but it's much more complicated than that. In fact, researchers think that climate change is disrupting the flow and causing bake, bake regions to bake in heat longer. If you look at it now, though, pictures come out. Um, I'm not even going to read this because, you know, Michael Mann is mentioned in it, but there's a picture here. I don't think it's included in this link of the jet stream that looks like a Van Gogh painting. Literally unrecognizable. And what are we willing to do? What are Americans willing to do? Not stop watching Marvel's movies or popping out babies. We want action. We want to deal with it. But how? What if we say no? According to a poll here, many feel planting a trillion trees to absorb carbon emissions and you know, requiring oil and gas companies to seal methane leaks and, you know, all these incentives and measures and requiring permits and all this, but how many people are really willing to support that when at least a third of the population doesn't even believe in anthropogenic warming because they have some paranoid schizophrenic uh, pathology which encourages them to lean into more um, conspiracy theories and think that it Literally every piece of authority is designed to manipulate and construe you into um, into going along with their MO or plan for world domination. And we've always been like this. Yes, there's always been people abusing power. Uh, but yes, also scientific data and evidence provided by some of the most leading scientific authors of our time is indeed accurate and correct as far as we can tell. If you measure the temperature and you have the most sophisticated technology known to man, you can pretty much rely on that temperature reading, right? Or no, it's a conspiracy. We've built our infrastructure for a climate that no longer exists. I also wanted to cover this briefly that flood pains 
uh, planes and the maps drawn by NOAA and flood monitoring agencies were made uh, decades ago and we're still building new infrastructure. Not the wise ape. Not the wise ape. How are we not screaming to death, okay, by 2040? You know, there's no escape. I do realize that even if I were to jump in an RV and drive off, my mentality usually when I'm driving long distances is, oh, I'll just come to the next gas station. Don't worry, don't need a refill. I'll, I'll, I'll see another one. That won't be an option. There's no escape, okay? It's taken me three years on the channel in this space to realize there's nothing left, okay? Let's look at the jet stream, though. It's as chaotic as a Van Gogh right now, and that's a big problem. Current Currents of air that wrap around our planet are becoming unrecognizable to climate scientists. The southern part of the jet stream over North America is completely broken apart and trapped in a vicious revolution that has triggered an off-the-chart heat wave. Blistering hot, okay? Over 100 degrees. Uh, even the marine heat waves are going to be predicted to experience more. Half the global oceans may experience marine heat wave conditions by the end of summer. The Atlantification of the Arctic Ocean is underway, quickly warming. Uh, the Fram Strait is nearly 2 degrees Celsius warmer than it was in 1900. Hotter, faster Canadian fires, uh, heat wave in the south, and wildfire smoke in the north. We're really feeling it, but, you know, don't look up. It's not real. We didn't cause this. Denial is so much easier. Farmers in the nation's heartland are dealing with severe drought as a potential leads to the smallest wheat crop since the 1960s. Two-thirds of Kansas wheat crop has faced extreme or exceptional drought conditions. Baseball-sized hail smashed into panels at a Scotts Bluff solar farm. So much for solar panels when they get destroyed by weather events. Oops, Mormon crickets are invading parts of Colorado. Heat dome ho hovers over Texas and Mexico. You can see this from space. In fact, it's killed at least 112 in Mexico since March. Also a never-ending record heat in Dominican Republic. And summer and winter in South America. The Met Office June found that June 2023 is on track to be the hottest June on record in the United Kingdom. I'm cer certain you're paying attention by now, DNW. This isn't a claim. This is data and evidence. I'm not making this up. Okay? There's a distinction. I know you want to appeal to all the people, so you have to be politically correct, you know, and try to... And we can just throw it out the window. We're past the point of being politically correct. This is a definite, for sure, existential crisis facing us immediately and now. And they're missing, your government's missing targets on nearly every front. Risk of mosquito-borne dis diseases also rise in the European Union as heat waves and flooding uh, increase. There's been several accounts of malaria already here in the States. I think like six in Florida and Texas, or was it Louisiana, something like that combined. Um, second name heat wave strikes Spain. Historic day in Morocco. Temperatures reached 119 degrees. But work harder. And power outages cause more energy usage. Eastern Iran and Iraq also in water and heat crisis, as well as melting glaciers threatening millions with dangerous flooding. Rise in deaths and during India heat wave sparks fears of the future. There's not enough food and water in many places. Uh, China's, China's southwestern Sichuan province uh, evacuated more than 900 people. And El Nino hasn't even fully kicked in yet. All right, heat wave in Japan and Australia. And, I mean, this just keeps going and going. It's mind-boggling and overwhelming even for me. Uh, to read this, massive effery in the Antarctic continues with anomaly chart more anomalous than ever from Sir Jacobson, now recorded, um, we're seeing 4.78 below the 1991 to 2010 mean. Uh, yeah, that's pretty far off target there. And we're not even fully kicked into El Nino. And much of this talk about the melting thwaites, 
Basically, we're going into overdrive. The acceleration is accelerating. We are seeing that in real time. If you are that much in denial or asleep and cannot walk outside and literally feel the effects wherever you are, then I don't know what to say to you. I wouldn't trust you with my life, that's for sure. Okay, maybe I should get on and do a live stream soon. My health is finally better. I was dealing with a fungal infection, TMI, for the past few months, but I still churned out content. And I'm better, and I appreciate all of you for being here and helping me. Not everyone can create a channel and come to these profound conclusions with the help of all of you little meat sauce miracles. Meat sauce. Not many can do that. It takes a certain um, combination of mm, technical know-how, personal skill, but it's not that hard at this point. I think you can just yell things on camera to YouTube about AI, and people will listen to you at this point. Uh, if that's what you want, subscribers. But either way, you've all been a part of this. You've taken stuff away from our exchanges. I've taken away stuff, and we are witnessing this. Proud to be a human on Earth in the last chapter of our existence. My name is Reagan the Doom Wizard. Today's June 29th. I forgot there. Thanks for subscribing. Hit like, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya.